Hey everyone, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found Where Thrifted is the New Black. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. Today I have a super fun haul for you from a couple trips I made to Savers. And it's the closest one to my house, so it's like 12 minutes away. I end up there all the time, except in this particular haul, I also went to a Savers that's about 30 minutes away from my house that I don't typically go to, and I found some really good stuff. So if you like reseller content, this is a fun place to be. If you enjoy this video at any point, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, you can do that down below and hit the bell notifications if you wanna know when I release videos. So another rainy day. I tend to like to do thrift with me's on rainy days apparently, but I have a couple returns to make to Savers and I'm going to bring you along with me. I've already done some shopping there and I've listed a bunch of things and that's what you're going to see in today's haul, but I'm going to go see what else I can pick up. My intern Lindsay is coming to work today and I have two hours before she gets here. I rallied early this morning and did my shipping and um, what else did I do? Oh, I listed like seven or eight items before 10 a.m., which is big for me. I usually don't list until the evening time or at least midday. So I'm excited to take you shopping with me and we'll see what we can find. All right, always excited as I'm heading into the store. All the carts are kept inside now. As soon as I started walking, I don't know, this sweater caught my eye. I wasn't ready to settle in yet, but First thing I found, like this was seconds after I walked in, was this nice free people sweater. So I grabbed that, but I didn't want to commit to that rack, so I kept going. I think this was Love Tree or something. Maybe it was Urban Outfitters. So what I love about this particular Savers, and most Savers, is they push all the sweaters to one side, especially in the morning as they start stocking the shelves. So wherever you see a gap, that means they have just Put some new sweaters there so even if you missed see this 11.99 for j crew that is very typical for this store and for the j crew brand so i very rarely find j crew here that i will pick up um, but yeah so they push all their sweaters to one side so i knew at least the first few were new to the rack so i've said it before and i'll say it again in this video i do like to stalk the people as they're coming out you really, oh, I loved this sweater. I thought this was such a cool vintage piece, but it had a giant hole right in the middle. I would have definitely picked this up. That was sad for me. Definitely looking for sweaters. They've been selling really well for me. Tis the season for sweaters. I really like to stock up between, you know, now and January and even into February sometimes. It just depends on how fast I'm selling through stuff. So this sweater right here, see what's marked $11.99? I was actually returning this same sweater in a different color from a different Savers that I had purchased for just $4.99. So clearly at the other Savers, they are not marking. There's another J. Crew $11.99 at this Savers. Crazy town. Um, but anyways, you just know your stores and you know what you buy there. I thought about this L.O. Bean sweater. It had a little too much pilling for me. I swear after I go to the bins a couple times, I've usually like had it up to my eyeballs with pilling and whatnot because it's always a lot of maintenance when you find stuff at the bin. So I shifted gears and I came over here to shoes. Once again, it looks pretty neat. You can tell I was here early in the morning and because of the rain, it was super quiet and they were pulling out new inventory like mad. So I'm just peeking around, just really mostly showing you pricing, $12.49, $12.49. I will never understand their pricing here at Savers. There's a red rack there. This guy, <laughs> I'm totally stalking this poor guy. He's putting out bags. I'm hiding right here, just waiting for him to put stuff away, pretending like I care about these shoes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really could not keep up with the product today. So much was coming out. I must have run off so my my filming skills left a lot to be desired. $12.99 again, I think that was a BOC bag. Uh, yeah, nothing too exciting. I had to try. I did find some really great bags later in the morning, but I did not record it. But yeah, there were, 
you see now the red rack is gone. That brings over the new bags. I thought these were kind of cute, but they were unbranded. It takes me a while to kind of settle in and find my rhythm. So right now I feel like I'm jumping all over the place. <laughs> As is my camera. I am so sorry. I like these Timberlands. These were in the men's section, but I think they were women's. But they were $14.99. I feel like I got a fair amount of shoes the last time I was at the bin. So I typically love to source for shoes. But with some of the pricing here, I did like these shoes very much. They were in beautiful condition. I ended up buying those, but I'll talk to you more in the haul. I'm not sure that was the best pickup. I just really liked those. The comps weren't fantastic. And I've mentioned this before, but at this particular location, I can run comps. I just have to go to the front of the store. It takes a long time for my camera to load. These were Sunita's, $14.99. And they were a little beat up on the toe. So comment below, are these prices staggering to you or is this par for the course? This, those looked nice and I didn't look them up. I'm hoping I didn't miss something there. These prices are exceptionally high and we did talk to the store manager. These are some coat shoes, but not my jam. That Those were at least priced well. He did admit that the prices are higher. Um, these were nice Cole Hans, but a little bit dated. Cole Hans are hit or miss for me. So where I have a lot to list right now, I really just wanted to get stuff that I really felt passionate about. And I encourage you to shop that way a lot. Oh, I meant to get these. These were nice fit flops. Oh, you know, <laughs> I went to put them in my cart and then I put them back. Ah, those were really nice, but for $8.49, I don't know what I was thinking, and I loved those. Those were, I think, 9 West. So later in the video, I'm going to do a little take it or leave it section with you. I've done that before. Um, we're going to show you some of the stuff I'm contemplating, and I'll let you know what I decide to keep and put back. And remember, for the haul portion of this, this was just one stop. I actually went to Savers three times. Over here, I find a really cute pair of Corkies. And I, I really battled with myself whether or not I was going to take them home. But they were $16.99. They're in good shape. The color is a little questionable. I don't know. I do put them in my cart. I like that brand. I've done really amazing with certain Corkies and other Corkies have sat for a while for me. Okay, this knockoff Louis Vuitton was a pretty good knockoff, I have to say. Uh, it was $7.99, but the interior was like, ooh, like the worst fabric you can imagine. But the canvas was pretty good. It was $7.99, but I left that behind. And then these were some of the Dooney and Burks that I did not purchase. Just not my favorite style. This was shortly after a newer rack came out, and I did score some really good bags, um, but some of the stuff had already been put away, so I decided to go peek at what was put on the shelves, and I decided to leave those behind. Uh, I then went over to the Blazers. I always hit the Blazers at one point or another because I can go through them pretty quickly. I've been liking some of the oversized Blazers uh, that are trending right now and selling more Blazers than I typically do. And they don't really price their blazers very high here, so I didn't see anything today. I liked this Ralph Lauren, but it was $11.99. Um, and then this Pendleton. I love picking up vintage Pendleton, but that's not exactly the style I am on the hunt for. I did just sell a plaid Pendleton blazer, finally, that had been sitting around forever. Kind of check out the coats over here. Always hoping to find like a cute Patagonia or something inexpensive, but I don't think I found anything. I just feel like everybody is looking to be comfortable these days, so I spend more time looking at comfort wear than I normally would. Style & Co. What's this? I don't know. I definitely want you to see some of the pricing here, which is why I included this. But they're all over the map. They jump from $5.49 to $9.99 to $11.99. I will say at Goodwills, it's kind of nice where it's just 
coats are X amount of dollars, shirts are this price. With savers, you kind of have to just keep looking. All right, in this section, I am just sharing with you some of the things that are in my cart and debating on whether to keep them or not. I kind of come to the back of the store for this. Um, this is a St. Bart Calypso sweater, and I will talk to you in greater detail later on in the video. And I'm just going to kind of show you the stuff mostly that I decide not to keep. That's that Free People sweater that I saw first thing when I walked in. That was in really good shape. I did have a 20% off coupon, so that was $7.49. Once I decide I want to keep something, I take it off the hanger. It's <laughs> just kind of my system. This was that Spartina bag, but I did notice that there was all this paint. So that went back. It's not totally my style, and I didn't even bother to run the comps because these are those stinking corkies. I decided to put these back. Let me know what you would have done. I still haven't run the comps on those. All right, this piece, oh my gosh. This was actually on Inside Out. I couldn't, it was so freaking heavy. It was $10.99. It looked literally like something that was vintage and made in Alaska. Like gave you a warning to take it off when you walked in the house so you wouldn't overheat. There was definitely more, there was a big story to that jacket, um, but in the end, it just felt so cumbersome that I put it away. This is a Dooney purse that I did decide to go with. What was the price on that? $6.99. I feel like I'm revealing all of the fun stuff from the haul. But obviously, for the haul portion, I will talk in more detail about these pieces and where I'm pricing them at. This is a Vineyard Vine skirt. Uh, that I decided to get. It was a coach bag that came out for $12.99. Kind of just checking it out and seeing um, the wear. I really haven't looked anything up here. This was a sweater I decided to put back and I'm a little sad about it, but it was marked $9.99. It was hand knit and it still had the tag like knitted with love and I just I thought that needed a home but for $9.99 I didn't want a chance that it would sit. This is the kind of sweater that would probably sell from a haul. This was an interesting vintage purse. Okay, whoo! Not bad, not bad. Um, got a few things I will show you when I get home. I love these rainy days. There were people bringing stuff out like crazy. So I got a lot of purses that I think will do pretty well. I'm gonna head over to Dunkin' Donuts and then head home. Do you wanna come up? All right, this is going to be a challenge because Lulu Marie has like found herself on top of the sweater that I just steamed. Let me see if I can get her a blanket. She'll be happy. Here's my old man. Okay, <laughs> this has been a problem. The dogs are always on top of me. And typically, when I'm at my desk, they sit in this chair, so now I am like totally invading their space. Okay, let's start off with probably my most exciting find. I talk all the time about stocking the shelves when new items come out, and I have to say that a lot of the pieces here were found on new shelves. So um, these Doc Martens were just coming out. This was in the Framingham store for anybody who is local. There is a little bit of wear on the toes, but the woman came out with the cart and I swear I have like heightened sensitivity when I hear that cart rolling out. I heard her, so um, I followed her and I saw the boots, but I didn't think they were Doc Martens until I saw the bottom. Um, which, you know, is kind of undeniably dock with the yellow stitch. So she was walking and she was putting them on the shelf and I said, could I have those please? And she's like, sure. And she handed them to me and I turned around and there was this guy and he was like, ah, oh. he's like, those are so nice. He's like, you have a good eye. I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Like <laughs> I always play dumb, but um, anyway, those are really nice. They're a size 10. I do have them listed in my Poshmark closet for $125. If you want to check them out, there is a little bit of wear in the toe that I'm not sure how good it's showing up, but they're awesome and they're pretty unique. And I think they're called the Poppy 
poppy something so really cute this I also got that same day in Framingham oh I think there are 27 pieces in this haul and I think I spent like $59 in Framingham and then at my local savers all right Lou's done at my local savers I spent $43 but I had like a $21 credit so this is about $110 $115 worth of stuff my and I'll let you know what I paid so those boots were marked $12.99 and it was Senior Citizen Day, and if you've watched my channel before, you know I love to take my chances and go on a Tuesday. And the guy at the register was the sweetest man, and he said to me, are you 55 yet? And I said, I'm actually not. And and then he paused and he looked at me, he's like, well, you are today. And he gave me the 30% off, so I was so excited. This North Face jacket was $6.50, and I recently picked up a kid's North Face at the bins that flipped really quickly. It was reversible with plaid on one side. So this was $6.49. And I just wanna say, both jackets were trashed. You know that like sheen of black that comes over these like parka puffy coats? Dirty, dirty, dirty all over. And I just sprayed both of them with Oxy and they came out beautiful. This one has like fleece lined. The other one sold for $43 in a week. So I will probably price this around $48. This one is not reversible, but that's what I priced the other one at. Maybe $50, we'll see. This sweater I got just yesterday. One of my repeat customers, Megan, has this in her bundle right now. This is gorgeous. It's a fine merino wool mohair combo, and the brand might surprise you. It definitely surprised me. It's Calypso St. Bart, and I've really cooled down on picking up this brand, um, but it really is a brand that I associate with summertime, so I was surprised to see this beautiful sweater, but it's, it's so pretty, and it has like a, a little bit of a high-low scoop hem, gorgeous turtleneck chunky all the feels for the winter season and it's in this really beautiful rose color the retail on this is 295 dollars it's a little bit like a club monaco brand like you never well i have never gotten that much of a return on it but i did price it at 60 dollars which i think is fair i think i saw it somewhere else for closer to 100 but i haven't had the best luck with this brand but i did pick that up for style and it's really nice so you did see a little of the thrift with me and this was the sweater that i saw the second i walked into savers and i was like this is going to be a good day and it was and it was this really cute cropped um, and I love, this is like the color of the season that I love so much. It's like a neutral, like almost like a lighter version of that cinnamon color that I've been obsessing over. So $7.49 and yesterday I had my 20% off coupon. So about $6 for this sweater. And I will probably list it around $50. This is Prana. And I got this at the Framingham store. It's this really cute, uh, soft, soft, like sweatshirt material. I don't know what's going on in my kitchen. So here is the Prana tag. It also has like the high neck and a little bit of a cute little peplum back. It's just gathered in the back. This is a size large, which is great. I'll probably price that between $30 and $40. I thought this was adorable. This has been another color of the season that I love. In fact, I just placed an order on Everlane for just a hoodie and sweatpants. I haven't bought myself anything like that in a while and I just feel like I'm always wearing things from the bins and I'm like if I'm gonna wear sweatpants all day long I might as well wear some fashionable ones but the the hoodie that I bought was this color and then the base was black the pants were black but this has this cute little ruffle sleeve here I love this it is a size small it's just the black label not the cursive I think this is from 2017 or 2018 2017 is usually my cutoff this is fall of 2018 really really adorable it did have some staining on the back but it all came out in the wash oxy clean is my friend I put that stuff on everything it's like Frank's hot sauce all right this was a really exciting pickup for me exciting because I just typically don't love pieces from this brand, nor do they sell well. And I feel like I usually find older styles. So this is Lafayette 148. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's leather on the bottom and this gorgeous black and red tweed. So perfect for the holidays. This piece is $468, I believe. And it was like sold out, but still on current websites. 
absolutely stunning. I'm really torn on this. I would typically automatically send Lafayette 148 to the Real Real or to Savers. Oh to savers no I wouldn't um, or to thread up but I'm thinking that I might try to sell this on my own it's beautiful so just in case anybody is curious it is a size 8 everybody okay out there yeah. it's a size 8 and it is a gorgeous piece I'll show you the back that would look stunning with even like black leggings and a simple white shirt underneath for the holidays very comfortable my kind of thing. This is also in Megan's bundle right now. I love this sweater. This has a little bit of alpaca in it. So soft, all these beautiful neutral colors. The brand is called Buy Together Collection and I couldn't find a lot. I mean, I did go to their website. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that brand. I did go to their website and yes, by the way, all the white in back of me, we are supposed to get four inches of snow and I'm filming this on October 30th. So here in central Massachusetts, we are getting buried right now. This is our first snow of the season and I can't believe it. I always get excited for the first snow, but I feel bad for all the trick-or-treaters this weekend. Okay, so this cardigan sweater is life. I love it. It's got all the stretchy vibes. Let me know if you've ever had luck with this brand buy together. So I suspect that's going to go pretty quickly. I have these shoes sitting over here. And I picked these up yesterday and it looks like they may not have been the best buy because the price on these were $8.49, but they are Corks by Corkies and I really like the brand Corkies. You saw in my video that I also had um, like these orange boots that were really cute, but they had them marked at $16.99 and I couldn't find comps in a hurry there. And I just, I feel like Corkies are hit or miss for me. And I got home and the comps on these were all over the place, but I would call these new without tag. They are gorgeous. They show absolutely no wear. I can't remember the name, the style number of these, but these should be listed by the time you go online. Pretty sure these are a size nine and I love the studded detail. The lighting is crazy because it's so dark today. There's just studs here on the toe. They are just a really classic, beautiful brown, soft leather. I just couldn't leave these there because they were in such great condition, but they were marked $8.49, and which means I got them for like under $7, like maybe $7.50 or $7.75, whatever it worked out with the 20%. So I'm not sure if my return on that is gonna be great for that price. I would have liked it a little bit better if those were like $5. And I just wanna address the prices at Savers. Um, I, I think on social media, there's a lot of discussion about how the prices are so high. And f you saw in my Thrift With Me, some of the prices are ridiculous. At my particular Savers, Banana Republic, the Loft, Victoria's Secret, Polo Ralph Lauren, um, what's the other one? I don't know, J. Crew. They mark those so high. Like I'm talking $11.99 for sweaters and they haven't had a 50% off sale in a really long time. On the flip side, the Framingham location, which typically has better stuff, it's a little closer to Boston, but I still love the layout of my store um, in Marlboro, but that store, their sweater prices were very reasonable and that's where I got that Lafayette 148 jacket. That was $9.99 plus 20 and I got 30% off that day. So that day I did really well. The Doc Martens were $12.99 and I got 30% off. So, um, and a lot of their sweaters were priced great. Anyway, I just wanna say their prices all are, are all over the place but I always, always, always find reasonable stuff. So. It's just all about decision making. Some things are nice, but I'm not going to spend that money for the price. Other things I would pick up if they were at the bins or I would pick up if they were four or $5, but I'm not gonna pay eight or $9. I don't think that I fit into any one specific category. It's always specific to the situation. Like this, for example, I picked up because I loved this sweater. It's just INC, which is a Macy's brand, International Concepts. It's this ombre sweater. Flawless condition, like new. I just loved this piece. The comps are pretty decent on it. It is a size large. Um, I think I have this mark between 30, 30 and $40. Um, and I think I paid five or six for this. Okay, Barefoot Dreams, Barefoot Dreams. That same day in Framingham that I got the Lafayette 148 blazer and the Doc Martens on another new rack came out these beautiful one already sold so uh, there were two 
One was almost like a silvery white color, and then this one, it's not showing up, but it's a very, very light blush with tan, tannish undertones, both in size 3X, which I was thrilled about. These are just the softest thing. Anytime I can find these, I'm thrilled. So they were priced at $9.99. I paid $7 for each. One flipped in a day for $55. This one is still listed at $80. The other one had a hood, which was great, but I like this color better, both in excellent condition. Definitely pick up Barefoot Dreams if you can find it. I love it. Every time I've ever had Barefoot Dreams, it has sold within a reasonable time and north of $40. These shoes I picked up because they were new, because they were marked $5.49 and I did end up getting 30% off. And the comps were pretty good, although these are out of season and I don't do great with espadrilles, but I like them. So I end up buying them a lot. These look like they've never been worn. The brand is St. James that I wanted to share because I think I've had one other St. James piece. This is a higher end brand. Um, they are made in France. These are a size 37 and I think I have them listed for 35. I probably would have listed them higher if it were summer, but I just thought these would be a great pickup, you know, considering I paid about under $4 for them, like $3.75. And it was a brand I wanted to share with you in case you haven't heard of St. James. It is a good brand. Brand. The comps are kind of all over the place, but there were some of these espadrille style shoes from St. James listed in the $80 range and some comps that sold in the $40 to $50, $60 range. So I don't think I'm going to get that for this particular style, but I did want to pick that up and share it with you. Occasionally I'll pick up bras um, that are just beautiful. And I loved this coral bra with the underwire. I love the gold hardware. It's in like new condition. This was only $1.99, this Soma. And it is a 40D and it photographed really beautifully. So I already have that listed. This brand was new to me, but wow, is this a gorgeous piece. Um, this is Aldo Martens. And what got me on this was A, the style, and B, the fact that I think it was marked like $6.99 in Framingham. So I knew I was getting at least 20% off, but then I got the 30% off at the register. So I knew it was gonna be like five or $6, but it said designed and made in Barcelona. Anytime I see something that's made in Europe, it definitely piques my interest and I will explore a little more. So this piece was sold at Anthropology, although the RN number I didn't think matched up, but it's this gorgeous, it's called a blazer, but it's like a sweater blazer. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference, but it's sweater material, but then there's like a silky, you can't see it on the screen. Like there's an elbow patch. My light is right here. So when I go closer, you're just getting shadows. So I apologize for that. It's just a dark day. Anyways, this is gorgeous. It has like four buttons in the front. I believe I have this listed $75, $80. The comps on this were really good. It retailed for, you know, $175. Well, it was a surprise. I was anticipating this might be like a 30, 30 to $50 flip, but it looks like the numbers are even higher. This doesn't have a size tag, um, but I would say it's about a medium large. It's really a gorgeous piece. I've been focusing more on cardigan sweaters. I always like check out the cardigans because I just feel like being home all the time with COVID, we're just loungy. So I, I personally love, even if I sleep in like a tank top and pajama pants, I love putting on like a cozy cardigan in the morning. This was a great pickup. Also got this in Framingham. So you can see that that store does really have some phenomenal brands. Uh, gosh, I wanna say this was like $5.99 before the 30%. This was cheap money. And this, I just found one of her pieces at the bins, nowhere near this nice, but it is Tasha Polizzi. And if you go to her site or you go to, it's usually like Western brand websites that carry her stuff. She has just some gorgeous Southwestern beautiful pieces and this is no ex exception. I do have this marked at $90. I had it listed for a day. I got a $50 offer and I countered at 70 and then the person declined. Kind of wishing I had taken that $50, but at the time I had another customer who had this in their bundle and we were having a conversation about it. So I didn't want to sell it at 50. Um, only because I would have felt bad if it sold on the other person. So that's why I counted the 70 and then that person removed the item from their bundle. And then I kind of wished I had taken the $50. Does that make sense? But I was 
encountering more or less to just buy myself some time in hopes that the person I was talking with would have gotten this one. But anyways, long story short, it's still available. It is listed for $90. I probably would take 50 for it on second thought, but it's gorgeous. And I think it retailed for $140 and I would say this is in like new condition. Look at this pattern on the back and it's also a size large. So I was dying over this. Those two cardigans right there, I was thrilled about. A couple more uh, less exciting pieces of clothes that I wanna share with you, and then I'm gonna get into bags, and then we'll be done. So this I picked up because I think it was marked $4.49. I got 30% off. It's Fabletics, and I thought it was a really cute top. I did not run comps on it, and I kind of regret not running comps because the comps weren't great, but I just loved, I love camo. It has this little detail here in the back. There's the Fabletics logo. It was $3. I'll probably, I think I listed it for $25. I might get $18 to $20 for it. So it's just not the target price that I'm going for. I want to sell things that I'm going to sell for at least $30. That's always my goal. Now, obviously, we all have bad buys no matter where we are in our journey. And sometimes I buy those things that I wish had sold for more, but end up selling for less. And I think that's going to be one of them. That would have been a better bins pickup or like a $2 pickup, but I still like it. If it was large, I'd keep it. This is a sweater and it's a brand I don't typically pick up. But this was, I want to say, I don't know, it was that five or six dollar before 30% off, and it's J. Jill. I think this is so pretty. It's also a wool blend. There are these little beads that are just gorgeous. The detailing is so pretty on this. It is a size extra small. Um, and I have been cross posting to eBay quite a bit, so I will definitely cross post this. But it's a gorgeous cardigan sweater. I think it just has a single button, which I really love, and this button has beautiful detail. Uh, I will probably price this between $30 and $40 and see how it does. That's not a brand I typically do grab, but I, as you can also see, I was definitely shopping for winter. I've been selling a lot of ankle boots, a lot of sweaters, so I wanna keep those plentiful in my closet so people have a great selection when they come shop. I love that I have some pieces that are size extra small and also, you know, the 3X. Oh, also this is a free people sweater that I bought myself. It's almost uh, like a tunic length dress um, and I'm not sure that I love it. It's really cute. I'm obsessed with the sleeves but it's new with tag and the, the original price on this was $1.95. Obviously I didn't pay that and I've had it in my closet for some time. I'm wondering if I've worn this in a video before, but I still have a tag, the tag attached because I have never worn it out and I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I just am not a huge fan of high necks on me. I picked up this Vineyard Vine skirt. I really cooled off on Vineyard Vines. However, this was like brand new and it was a golf skirt. And I do think there is a great need for golf attire. So it has like the built-in stretchy shorts inside. It's a size six in this really cool bone color. And it is warm in many parts of the country. So I picked that up for that reason. So these are both like sportswear things. And I picked up these cycling shorts. Cycling shorts are another thing that have all sold in my closet. Maybe not for a ton of money, but these were priced in the men's department for $3.49. They are women's. Uh, they are, I believe, a size small with like the padded insert. Peloton bikes, they can't make them fast enough. Everybody is indoors. It's gonna be a long winter. I would suggest stocking up on things like this. Bike shorts for me have been a great pickup. So I kind of hit the mother load of bags at Savers yesterday. Um, and I think I may have shown a little bit in my video, but um, there was one fake Louis Vuitton that was a really good fake, but it was a fake. So I ended up not, I was gonna take it home just to talk to you about what made me know it was the fake, which was like the interior lining. There was some stitching that was a little off, but they had a lot of the uh, things you look for to authenticate it. It was $7.99 and I don't know. I just didn't want to waste my time. They did come out with a new rack of purses and there were a ton of Dooney and Burke. I don't think I got any footage, um, but it was like the signature Dooney and Burke. I don't typically like that, but this was a signature like the DB and I thought this was adorable. I loved that it was pink. This looks like brand new. There's very little signs of wear. It's got this really cute 
blue interior with like the little enamel covered heart tag. It also has like a little keychain piece here. And the best part is this is a little backpack. I thought this was so cute. This was priced at $6.99 plus 20% off. I have it marked at um, $75 in my closet and I woke up to two or three likes on it. So I think I sent out offers for $65. They even have this, um, I think they called it a candy zipper where the zipper is all different colors. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that detail, but I thought this was a cute bag. I'm definitely a fan of more vintage Doonies and all of the other ones I would say are more like the early 2000s look little shoulder bags with the DB and they were marked $9.99. They just really didn't bring me much joy. They just weren't my thing. So I left a lot of those behind. This bag brought me joy. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to bring me a lot of money, but it brought me joy. This is a vintage leather piece. It's a doctor's bag kind of opens like this. The shape of it is a little off and I've, I worked on a stain that looks pretty good. There was like white paint right here that I cleaned off and then um, my intern Lindsay conditioned it with some of the Doc Martin stuff and it came out really good. But this is vintage Jordan Marsh and it's a doctor's bag and look at the plaid liner. I thought this was so cool and it's Jordan Marsh made in Italy, genuine leather. I mean, I remember going to Jordan Marsh. I've talked about the store before um, when I was a little girl, I would go with my mom. Um, to like their outlet center and we would do Christmas shopping there and I just loved it So Jordan Marsh has been closed for a while, but this bag is amazing and it's got all this embossed leather That you can see kind of some abstract stuff going on So I need to work on the shape a little bit because the sides kind of puff out at different places, but it's a great size I loved that. I think that was marked 549. This bag is the sack and I just sold this. If you remember this, I picked this up for $8 in State College when I was visiting my kids in Pennsylvania, this exact model, except the one I got was like a bone white and it had metallic thread through it. It was really pretty. It sold to a viewer for I think 30 or $35 plus shipping and it sold very quickly. So this is a more traditional thing, but I love the studs on this and I actually, think these would go so nice together. These are the Corks shoes. And then, so they both have the studding, two different brands, but wow, would these complement each other so well. This is in great condition. And I love the interior for these bags. It kind of has like the Rebecca Minkoff little leather tassels here. And then the interior is nice. So it has this pouch that goes in like this. Loved this bag. So I would probably list that between, probably around $40. I have three bags left. I just love the distressing on this. I love picking up crossbodies. I just think they're super practical. I love them. And I, you know I love like a boho vibe. So this is distressed, this is fossil. It has, um, it looks like fabric on one side, leather on the other side, more with the studs. This is heavily distressed. Um, and it's just a cute crossbody, lots of storage inside. And then, you know, it's got the fossil label inside so really cute i like selling the right fossil this is definitely in line with the style fossil that i like to sell probably around 40 dollars on that this piece i just picked up because i thought it was awesome it was marked 449 i believe or 499 so i got the 20 percent off so this cost four dollars or like three dollars and 80 cents i just loved the fact that it was a vintage purse and it kind of has that snap you know, that snap open like this. It can also be worn as a crossbody. It's just got the thin leather strap. So no big deal. I loved it. At this store, I have a really hard time running comps because there's poor reception there on my phone. So I just took it home. I'm like, for $4, I'll sell it. And the brand is Moon Bags by My camera ran out. It like stops every 25 minutes and then I have to turn off my camera and start it over and then splice it together. So Moon Bags by Patricia Smith. I got home and I will share with you some of the comps on these bags and some of the listings on these bags, but holy moly, I don't know that this like tapestry, needlepoint, embroidered sort of look is the highest end. It looked like there was some painting that was done. She's from the 80s. A huge following. Some of her bags were selling for 130, 150. A lot of them are also listed in that range. I ended up listing this for 
got a like right away. I have no idea. So the prices were all over the place. So, you know, this could end up sitting for several months and I end up taking a $30 offer on it. Somebody might like it right away. You just never know. So I tend to go with the higher price and I'm gonna share with you why in my next piece that I show you. I like this as a clutch as well and you could definitely push these straps in and just use it as a clutch. So really beautiful bag. I loved the design on this. Okay, last thing. Oh my goodness, this little Coach Winnie. I posted about this on my Instagram page. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'm just at Lori's Boston Found. I share a lot of my daily activities over there. I picked this up, this came out with all the other bags. It was marked $12.99. I am not a huge Coach person only because it just sits for me. I love vintage Coach though, just like I love the vintage Dooney. Coach to me is like a same, a similar vibe with just the beautiful hardware, the soft, soft leather. And then in the 90s, when everybody went into the monogram look, I, fe I felt like Coach went way down in value and I'm just not into any of the Doonies from that era. Maybe they'll come around again, but I am so happy that um, I found this little guy. So this was $12.99, which I normally wouldn't pay for Coach. Like I pass on $5 Coach bags a ton. Um, and I know some people have great luck selling Coach. I just don't. So uh, this was also split. The little tag here was split. So I really debated, but I'm like, you know what? This has so much going for it. It's a crossbody. It's in great condition. It's a classic color. Um, I didn't know the name of it, I have to confess. And anyway, I got home and when I started to run comps, I was really surprised. I'm like, well, I'll get the 20% off. I'll list it for, you know, $75, $80. And in about three months, maybe I'll get 40 to 50 for it. That was really what I was thinking. But if I paid 10 after the 20% off, I'm like, that's still like quadrupling my money. So that was a good buy. I got home and did some research, realized at first I thought it was the Willis bag, but I realized I think the Willis is a little bit bigger than this. And then I was like, should I give this to Angie for Christmas? I was kind of all over the place because I thought it was a special little bag. I listed it at $125. Rocco and Jay ran to pick up some salads for dinner. I went, I ate the salad, I came back and this bag had sold for $125 in 30 minutes. I don't know when exactly it sold. In addition to that, I had two direct messages asking me, somebody asked to trade, so I don't even know if that really counts, but then somebody else asked if I had it in another color, and I also had a $75 offer. That obviously was null and void because somebody came in and bought it for $125. Oh my goodness, like I could not believe the attention this got in such a short time. I don't know if I should have priced it higher, I mean, there were a couple, and I'll, I'll put those up here on eBay, that sold recently, and it was like, they had it priced, one was like $349, I think, and $288, and they had sold on best offers, so I'm not sure what they sold for, but I don't know if I underpriced this, but it doesn't matter. I mean, $125 for 10 minutes of work to list this on a $10 investment is really good, but I guess the moral of the story is be on the lookout for this little Winnie guy. Um, yeah, so I guess Coach is having a bit of a moment right now. Vintage, vintage Coach. So gorgeous. I was thrilled with that. Paid for just about everything I just showed you. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. It really means a lot to me. It really does help my channel. I appreciate you for sticking around, watching my content. Um, I am gonna have a What Sold video out this Sunday. It's gonna have a little bit of a twist. Um, and it's not what didn't sell, but that is back burnered for now. But I do wanna do that. Somebody suggested that I do a what didn't sell video. Do you wanna come up? The natives are getting restless now. Uh, they want their chair back. So what's old video this weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. If you enjoy hauls like this, I'm going to suggest those for the next video that you watch. I have some great suggested videos and I have a playlist that's all Savers hauls. So you can click that and see some of the other great things that I find at Savers. Thanks everyone. You glad I'm done? I love you.